Welcome back to my channel guys So today I'm going to be doing this look that is very simple It's going to make your eye look bigger and make it pop as well So if y'all are interested to know how I achieve this look then please keep on watching So first I'm going to start with primer I'm going to use the NYX Angel Whale Primer and apply it in my T-zone Following that, I'm going to be using this Healthy Mix BB Cream as my foundation today. And I'm using my Tarte brush for that. And as usual, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, chin and on my sides of my face, jawline, whatever. And then just blend, blend, blend. So before going in with any powder, I'm going to use this Benefit Highlighter in Candlelight, if I'm not wrong, on my cheekbones. Now I'm going to just use my Fenty Beauty Powder to bake my face. I'm only applying this to areas where I applied my concealer. I'm very, very excited to use this palette. It's the Magician by Juvius. I am using the shade Nana on my crease. I'm really excited to actually use this, but today I'm not going to do any colorful look. It's just going to be very minimal. So once I have built up the colour Nana, I'm going to be using this beautiful burnt orange shade called Zakia all over my lids but leaving the inner corners bare. So once I'm satisfied with the colour, I will go back in with the Nana shade to just blend it. And then I'm going to be using this very light shade. Um, I don't know what colour is that, sorry. I will just insert the name and apply that into my inner corners. This is going to help you look awake and it's going to make your eyes look bigger actually. So you can use any light shade for your inner corners to open up your eyes. So over here, I'm just going in and blending and then also adding back the colour once again. So once I have removed the bake that is going on on my face, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Powder to of course contour my face. So I'm going on my hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead a little bit and on my nose. So 
So you can actually skip this step. If you don't want to bronze, it's fine. But usually I do bronze at times because sometimes I feel like all the powders and the foundation may make me look really white. And here I'm just going ahead and using my Tarte blush. Once the blush is done, I'm going to highlight my face with this Colourpop highlighter. It's a very beautiful gold shade. I'm also going to use this on my nose and as my brow bone highlight and on my inner corners as well. So here I'm using this Rimmel London eyeliner for my waterline, it's in the shade Nude. Any flesh tone colours or white colour is going to help your eyes look bigger and very awake. So use any colours that are lighter. Here I'm just curling my eyelashes so that all my lashes will be upright. This will help to also again, you know, make your eyes look bigger when you apply your mascara. For my bottom lashes, I'm going in with a light hand because I don't want any darkness underneath. So the last step before the lips, I'm just going to pop on some fake eyelashes. These are really cheap eyelashes that I got from eBay, which took like bloody one month to arrive. I actually really liked how it turned out. It kind of gave me a Barbie doll eye kind of look. So I'm just going to spray my setting spray, the Urban Decay All Nighter. And the final step, I'm just going to use a lip liner and my nude lipstick. So this is the final result guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions on my next looks, then please comment down below. So I will see y'all on my next video. Bye!